Hi, welcome back to Models and Cars. I'm Maddie from Leviticus Fashions, and today you're going to be seeing Greg and Paige do the oil change on my Porsche Boxster 986. I hope this video is super informational for you and helps you out on your oil change, so let's get started. Thanks, Manny. That's right. Today we're going to do the uh, oil change on the 99 Porsche Boxster, and I have my assistant, Paige, who's a future mechanic, who's going to go ahead and tell us what we need to do, and we're going to talk about some of the things that we're going to be using. So what you're going to need is 5W40 oil. Um, why don't you use the Amazon Basics? Well, on the channel, we always use the, we've always used the Amazon Basics, and Basically, Amazon Basics is, it, Amazon doesn't make oil, and you know, a lot of people think this is generic oil and things like that, and the truth is it's not. Um, this is actually made by Warren Distribution, which is a oil company that's been around for like 100 years. Um, but when you're looking at oil, you want to look at the back here, and you want to look at these letters here and down in here. What this is basically saying is, is that this is good for any car. Um, you know, motor oil has to follow standards, it's independently tested and verified that it's going to work on your car. Now there are better oil, I don't even want to say better oils, but there are other oils out there that if I were going to put into a race car, if this were going to be a track car, yeah, I might consider Mobile One um, or some other brand. But for a daily driver, just everyday driving, this is more than adequate. And then we need a oil filter, crush washers this is an eight millimeter uh socket for allen wrench which we'll need to get the drain plug out and then we're going to need a oil filter wrench and a breaker bar yeah. what is the breaker bar going to be used okay. for so most of you out there won't need a breaker bar um we are using a breaker bar because Paige doesn't have the strength when we, we tried it once before her doing an oil change and she didn't have the strength to get the the uh, drain plug off. So we're going to use a breaker bar today so that she can actually have the strength to get it. You, know, you get that extra leverage that she has until she can start developing her arms and as she uses it and things. But it's not you never have to worry about using a breaker bar getting stuff off. You have to worry about it putting it on because it'll apply a lot more pressure out here. Um, when you're doing it, you don't want to over tighten. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the breaker bar so that Paige has an easier time getting it apart. And hopefully she can do it herself today. Okay, so that's what we need to get started. The other thing we're going to need is a catch can for the, uh, the oil, which is over on the side here. But we're going to get the car set up um, with the with the jack and jack stands, of course, and we'll get set up. We'll show you how to do that and we'll get underneath the car. All right, so we're ready for step one. Paige, you want to tell them what to do? First thing you're going to have to do is chalk the wheels. All right, next you want to find a nice location to lift it up from. There's a bracket right here on the, just inside the muffler that looks like it attaches to the engine nice and strong and it's where the skid plates attach to. So we're going to use that to start jacking it up, the car up. So Paige, you want to go ahead and do that? There. Yeah, get ahead. That's good. You twist it to clockwise. Okay, move it in just a little bit more. Good. Yep. Okay. All right, and that looks like it's good holding uh, there. So we're going to continue jacking it up, and we're going to throw the jack stands under, and then we'll get underneath. All right, so other than the fact that everything is under the car, it's actually really easy to get to. If you look right there, dead center, you, that is the Allen wrench and the drug plane, uh, the uh, drain plug for the oil. And then right over there is your your oil filter. We're using this so it's nice and easy. Just kind of, I'll just cut right on there and we'll just twist it off. Um, so overall, it's very easy to get to, um, but... 
Uh, we're going to go ahead, we'll get set up and we'll drain the oil and, uh, but you're just going to loosen this down. Then once the oil drains out, we'll uh, take this off. We'll replace the filter in it, put it back, put the plug back in and we'll go up top and fill it up. It's that simple. All right, so we're getting ready to do the as it goes the final of it. Paige is going to move the um, the oil pan so that or the oil catch so that we okay. can uh, we'll twist it that way so it's out of your way um, so that we can get underneath to get to the oil filter. Just make sure you're not it's not going to drain outside of it. So push it in just a little bit. And you can push it in a lot actually. Okay, now. All right, so it's right up over here, right next to it. So it's that black thing kind of. You can kick this out this way, it can be like that. Yes, counterclockwise is to loosen. Lefty loosey. Huh? Can it be like this or is it like that? You're, you're counterclockwise, so you're push it away from you right now. So whatever it is to give you the best leverage to put push away. So you put it on, you're just gonna crack it. You're not gonna like take it all the way off, you're just gonna make it loose. So make sure it's on there nice and tight. And it's up there nice and tight, and I'll just push off on it once it's in place. Push up. I just you're gonna push on on it. Away from me, so yep, pushing away. From, yep, pushing away from you. Just to get it loose. Keep going. Maybe at least a quarter turn. I would say you're gonna need. I mean, I'll hold you in place. I can't move it more. I feel like I tightened it. Try it the other way, but don't tighten it too far. Just you know, it might be counter threaded. I'm not sure. No, nah, you can't do it that way. So it is that way. It's just tight. You're going to have to try and give it a little bit more. You just can't get the leverage on it. So maybe pick it off and move the, the back towards you so you can push again. So take it off, twist it back. Right? Now put it on. Okay, now push again. That didn't do anything. What well, you, you, you I didn't bring it up though close enough. Okay, I almost got it. I could see it going a bit. Push yourself around so you can get the most leverage. Give it two seconds. Mm -hmm. My arms hurt. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you want me to do it? You want me to get in there? I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Hair 
So left is away from me. Counterclockwise. Yeah. Lefty Lucy. I should not be doing this with my non right What? You can do it with... No, it's clockwise. Wait, hold on. To the left. That's my right, that's my left. So I'm going that way. Is oil going to spill out of this? No. I mean, there's oil in it, but it's not going to spill out. Okay. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. There's no wheel in the car, really. Am I in the wave camera? You're fine. Let's flip it over into that pan. There you go. You can set it in. Like that? Yeah. Okay, you can come on out. Let the rest of the oil drain out. Okay, now we're back over at our table and we're going to go and uh, get everything set up. So, Paige, um, I'm gonna, the first thing we need to do is get this uh, ring off and we want to replace that. So, you can use a tool to do that. We're going to use this little pick thing. You can go, this isn't important. You know, you can just kind of dig out and get that off with that. Wait, where is it? It's that rubber, oh. yep, that right there. Careful. Careful your finger, that's sharp. Uh -huh. This doesn't help, so I don't Okay, so let me show you how you're going to get that off. So in order to get one of these off, what you're going to do is you're going to dig up underneath and you, re you can really get under there. Get it through, and then you can just pop it off, okay? All right, so we're gonna take that, we'll get rid of this, and I'm just gonna put it in here so I don't get oil all over the table. Oops. Then we're going to put this one on. We'll see if you can get that one with yourself. You're just going to get it in that back in that same ring. Okay, so here, let me show you the trick. Oh, good. Oh, you got it. Good. <laughs> no, almost. Just about got it. It's oily. Yeah. Honestly, you're probably having trouble because the gloves are a little big on you. Okay, let me see something. Okay, you're in the right ring, so just go ahead and get it in there. Yep, you're good. Now, what we're going to do with this next is put a coat of oil around it before we reinstall it. This is going to slide up onto the, um, the, the part where it was, and then we'll just slide it in, okay? So that'll be the next step. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is just put the crash washer on to the bolt, and then you're gonna put it up back in where the oil came out. Now you're going to tighten it as much as you can and then you're going to go in with the tool to tighten it the rest of the way. Now again, we're using a breaker bar with uh, Paige because of her uh, strength. She's going to need a little bit extra. Most of you out there that are working on your cars are not going to need to use a breaker bar. You're going to use a standard socket set. Can you hand me the rag? I have oil all over him. And all over the bowl. Should 
Do I clean off the ball of the oil a little bit? You can. If you need to. And even with Paige doing the, the breaker bar, I'm gonna go back up in there and double check to make sure it's not too tight or anything like that, it's tight enough. Well, that's because there's only five tight. You got to turn it 20 degrees. Make anything happen. Here, watch. I'm trying to get this out for your way. It means you got to twist more to see if you can catch it. You can't get it in because it's not lining up. Yeah, you're going the wrong. Um, you're right. I uh, am. No, that's the wrong way. Okay, that might be enough. We've been watching you do it. Okay, we'll talk about the next step is to slide on the filter. And you should be able to see that silver marking right up in there. You should see where it came out. Does it matter which side is up? No. Can I just do it? Or yes. Okay. Just gonna place it up straight in there. Good. And then go ahead and screw that on. Oh, before you do that, take a little bit of the old oil, which is fine, and you're just going to run a ring around that new fill, uh, gasket, the new O-ring, just to get it, uh, a coat of lubricant on it. And go ahead and screw that in place. Yeah, it's as tight as I can do it. Okay, so you are going to hand tighten this. However, um, you know, there's there's been plenty of cars that I've had in the past that I was not able to hand tighten. So, what I do is I get it as far as I can. And you got oil in your hands and everything else. So what I do then is I use a, a once I get it as tight as I can get it, without really overexerting myself, I take it and I give it another quarter turn. So I just use the breaker bar or the thing. And just like that, just another turn to give it a little extra, more than my hand can is able to grab and do. And that usually should be sufficient. Got it? Yep. Okay. All right. Underneath the car, we're all done. Um, oh, I gotta check that. And check that oil plug just to see how tight it is. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to. I don't want to over tighten it. Yeah, that's good. Good job, Paige. Thank you. All right, so we're all done underneath the car. The next step is just to reverse the process of dropping it, and then we're gonna show you how to put the oil in in the Boxster and what you wanna to do to get things rolling. Go ahead. Oh, it's like over here. Yeah. So you can put it all the way up and get it to there. I mean, like, you can get it close and rearrange it when you get it there. Oh, Make sure that you got it all the way over it is, it is now. If it's not all the way over, you could it could lose it, lose pressure. It wasn't tight, yeah, make sure it's tight. And so as you get it up there, you get it in the final position. One more. Okay, 
Okay, good, good, good. It's not going up anymore, so. All right, so come on over. You remember how to get those out? Yeah, you put down the lever and then you take it. Is it off of it? I don't think so. All right, let me look. Watch over there. Alright. Alright, go ahead and lay it down slowly. I just turn it that way really slow. Slow, yes. And you can always turn it back if it goes too fast. <laughs> good, let it go. Now it's down. All right, so now let's uh, go ahead and we'll put the oil in and show you what you need to do to make sure you got the proper amount of oil. So we're ready here with the uh, new, uh, put the new oil in. What you want to do is I use a funnel. I want to use a funnel. Um, you can, I mean, there's plenty of room here on the on the Porsche to get it and it even has like a little kind of funnel in there you could pour it in and do it but I kind of like just having that extra flow and stuff we know how much oil goes into it and you know so we're going to take it from there it is a nine quarts that's we're gonna we're gonna just kind of start and uh pouring it in and we're gonna check it every so often just to be positive but um that's what everybody says to me is all you know, the things online said nine quarts which is surprising in a six cylinder but hey we're going to go ahead and do it. So uh, let's get to it. Okay. So on the ball, it says to pour it this way. This makes it so no light air is in as you're pouring. It's not going to go glug, 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 glug. It'll be a nice, even stream. So we're just going to take off the cap. I hate these cups. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Should have stopped me. Well, you went. You weren't. You were just going for it. <laughs> that was what I did. That's good. Nine quarts of oil is a lot for me to kind of, but it's still not even on that dipstick at all. So it's just, you know what? It's just the first time doing the oil change ourselves on the Porsche. Oops. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. Okay, it just hit the dipstick. Now you want to be careful when you're changing new oil. The oil is not dark, it's, it's very light, so it's going to be hard to see. Um, but you should be able to see there that it just started coming up. And actually there might be, we're only going to put in um, a half of one right now, okay? Mm -hmm. 
I think that's going to put us up, and I'll explain why and what you want to do. So let's put in about a half. You don't have to be exact, just roughly. I know, I'm just looking if there was a clear line on the top. And you're gonna glove it. You do that. You just just approximate it. Pour about half in. That's good. It's fine. We're just getting an idea. That's good. Oh, now do a little do more. Off. Do some more. About the same amount. Just keep going. That's good. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to, you, now realize this is still leaking down into the engine. This is not full yet. So I just want to get it approximately to the fill, the full line. And it's still about halfway, so we can put the rest of that one in. Okay, so this is up to the full line right now. Now, the thing is that you need to do when you're changing oil is, is that we took all that oil out of the uh, filter. So there's no oil in the filter and that's going to take up a little bit more. So right now it's at the full line. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, um, close it all up, let it drain down. We're going to start it, let it run for a few minutes, and then we'll check it again and top it off. So lastly, we're just going to check the oil one more time, top it off, um, and we'll be set. Now, look at that. There's barely any oil on it. It probably needs that one more quart. Uh, quart. But just so you know, um, right here, uh, that those two gauges, typically right in between there, and it's going to be hard to see there, but those two notches, that's typically one quart of oil. And that's what you want to do. And this was all the way down. So filling up with one more quart should be enough. And we'll get that done. We'll check it again. And it's that simple. And let's uh, get back out here. All right. So now is the most important part. And I'm going to show you. And there's going to be a link in the description to all everything that we used today. Um, as well as this here. Um, there's one thing that I've always... Doing oil changes on your own. Especially when you have four cars like we do. Um, it gets that to be, when's it due? When do I need to do it? Now... A lot of people will say, you got to do it three months or 3,000 miles. I don't buy it. 3,000 miles, yeah, I agree. That's what we try to do, the cars here on the channel. We try to change every 3,000 miles. It's one of the reasons we use full synthetic from Amazon and we don't use the real expensive stuff is so that it's, um, you know, we're, we're not going to keep it. We could do it a lot longer, even with that oil, but the more often, the cleaner you keep your oil, the longer your car will last. But here's the other side of that. You can put oil on a shelf for months and months and months. Why is it that all of a sudden when you put it in your car, it only lasts three months? So I'm really big proponent, 3,000 miles. Change it every 3,000 miles, regardless of how much you use it. We have cars we only put 3,000 miles a year on. So they get one oil change a year. That's the way it is, and I, you know, I've never had a problem. But this is how you can um, 
This is how you keep track of all that. All right, so these are available on Amazon that you just, um, it gives you the service due date, mileage, and grade. So what I do is I put today's date, the date I did it, not the due date. That's just my personal opinion. Today's, I think, the 25th? 24th. 24th, okay. Okay, the mileage on the car that it's going to be due is 76,621. That's 3,000 miles from now, and it's uh, 5W40. German cars take 5W40. The American cars we keep on hand at 5W30. Um, but this is ready to go. We're going to stick this inside the windshield so that we know when it's done, and this is how you keep track of it. This was a few bucks, man. There's a link down below so you can find these yourself. Um, I highly recommend doing this so you can keep track of your oil. I always have a problem doing it. And that's just a cling that goes right up there. Nice and easy. That simple. Ready to go. So I hope this video was super informative for you on how to complete your project. I want to give a big personal thank you to my sister Paige for learning how to do an oil change on my car and doing it successfully. I think it's so amazing how she's really following her dreams and learning how to do different things, especially on different cars. Um, make sure if you want to see more, you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.